we are going to make clay labyrinths. So you may have uh, white clay or the terracotta color, um, but you'll need your clay, you'll need uh, a pencil, you'll need a small container of water, um, any tools that you would like. Um, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Uh, if you'd like to use a towel um, or have one nearby or a napkin just to wipe your hands as you go, you can do that. Um, make sure you get a nonstick surface. I'm using a, um, a, a cutting board, but I'm also putting, uh, I'm reusing the brown bag that the materials came in, and I'm going to build on top of that for easy transport. Um, you also have your template and your tracing paper. Um, so the first thing you want to do is get your pencil and get your tracing paper. Put your tracing paper on top of your template and trace that path. So trace that whole uh, design. So another thing you may need is um, a rolling pin, but if you don't have a rolling pin, um, don't worry, you can use your hands or you can use like another um, object that's um, rolling pin-like. Um, again, I'm just using my hands. Uh, and you want to flatten it out um, and you want it a little bit bigger than your template. So you can just eye it as you go just gonna make it a little bit bigger. It's almost like a pancake or a piece of schnitzel. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to get my tracing paper and put it on top of my clay. And I'm going to take my pencil and retrace that line. I'm going to press in um, gently but firmly. Uh, your pencil may poke through, that's okay. That probably will happen. But as you press in, it's going to make the line in the clay. And that will give us some guidance on where to um, make the path when we're ready. Excellent. All right, this is where your small dish of water comes in. If you have any tools, you um, can definitely use those. I'm just gonna use my finger. So I'm gonna dip my finger into the water and I'm going to start tracing those lines with my wet finger. And I'm pushing in. I'm gonna start to create a path with our finger. And you wanna just keep dipping your finger into the water. Make sure your finger is wet. There we go. And you also might wanna retrace your path a few times just so you've got a good, smooth path. There we go. And you can also, um, when you're done, uh, take your finger and just smooth out the edges, or you can use a tool and do that if you would like. Um, and you can set aside and let this dry. And so when you are all done, you can also um, paint your 
clay labyrinth and seal it with a varnish. Um, you don't have to, you can also just leave it as is. Um, and it should take about one or two days to dry. There you go, a clay labyrinth. Ha <laughs> ha.